Hello, I'm Elizabeth. I'm going to give you a preview of our new collection for spring 2021. We're in the studio at the moment and we've got all the ideas up on the wall. We're not at the stage where everything's finalised, but we know which designs are going to be part of the collection, where the core inspirations come from and what works yet to be done. So <clears throat> just for you, here's a little sneak preview of what people don't normally see. So the collection is called the garden um, and reasons are twofold during covid and the virus and everybody being shut in their homes for so long and not being able to escape and get out and about i took to painting i just decided to start to paint all of the flowers that were in my garden the first few designs i'm going to show you are from watercolors this one is a um, sort of a really big mixture of very typical English garden flowers. We've got the Gertrude Chicol roses, um, Californian poppies, I think they are actually, and some little lovely sort of apricot flowered roses that I've got in the garden as well. These are all hand painted watercolours. I'm thinking of putting it together as a soft stripe. You can see these uh, skeletal line drawings or shadows in the background with the lines. I like the way they fill the space without making it too heavy and they also make it a bit more contemporary. The next design is orchids. I had a couple of pot plants orchids at the time and just started painting them. I love orchids. They're just the most amazing plants. They're so beautiful and so delicate and yet also they have quite powerful sort of looking flowers. And we will be also adding a couple of little bugs or mayflies to the design. So this, this is my watercolour. This is a proof that we've printed on our digital print machine of the scale and a colourway of the orchids. It's got a few things wrong with the repeat at the moment that needs sorting out, but essentially this is what you'll get. I, I'm really loving this sort of powder blue colouring. It's kind of ethereal, it's like the sky. We've got these lovely sort of almost sunset colours in the white orchid heads and then these smoky neutrals and charcoals. And the next design is me sketching birds. These are all English garden birds. You wouldn't believe it, these ones with the bright chests um, are called goldfinches. They actually come to my garden. They, don't, they look so exotic, you wouldn't believe they did, but they do. Um, and in this design, we had a lovely screen print from a, a young designer that had been printed onto some very coarse linen. And I wanted to incorporate the birds into it, but actually it works much better with the birds having this faint shadow so it really looks like my watercolour sketches have been collaged onto the fabric. You can see up there, we, we don't directly coordinate designs, but we do think about how things might live together. If you're moving from one room to another, and you've got, say, the birds in one room, then you've got this little bug design that will have the same colour mood and colour feel. And you can, you know, you can do a, a bedroom and a powder room, or a living room and a hallway that, that are harmonious with each other. This one, is uh, pansies. I didn't draw these, they're, they're photographic, but I, I just, every spring, I love the way there's such a vivid rainbow of colours on offer. And I wanted to get that sense of really strong, vibrant colour into the design. But then we took it further forward and made a sort of very muted, neutrally pink one, and then blue, because blue is so on trend at the moment. We've got sort of Eve Klein blue there, and a lovely navy blue as well. It's really sort of very smart. So these are the bugs, and sometimes in a collection it's like the tiniest thing that you start to obsess about the most or you like the most. I'm really fond of these bugs. Got a little ladybird there um, and a mayfly, and they, they'll probably appear over in the orchids as well. Um, and then the last design on the wall is quite botanical. It started with this very traditional colouring. Looks like um, something that an ancient botanist in sort of the 18th or 19th century would have drawn but it's going to be realized in a much more contemporary way where it looks like it's been put through some photographic process and you get a sense of leaf skeletons and things appearing in the background and again you've got that lovely sky blue that we saw at the beginning with the orchids coming through into this design and a very soft delicate feminine colorway as well now the collection's called garden which um I think it came out because I was painting in my own garden, but also 
my mother was a great gardener, much, much, much better gardener than me. And um, it's kind of a nod to her that I've given it that name. The orchids will probably be called Sadie, named after her. And then all of the designs are going to have female names and they're all going to be women who have done something really remarkable in their lives. So that's the garden collection. It'll be coming out in the spring, the early part of 2021. Very much hope that you're going to enjoy having it. I think for, for the spring and for the start of the new year, it should freshen us all up, blow out the cobwebs, and maybe give us something nice to look forward to as next summer arrives. <laughs>